Hey guys, my name is Ben, I'm a developer at Playerlands and today we're going to be looking at how to create your first store and link it to your server. In this case we'll be using Minecraft but all other games act the same. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to your stores section of your portal and then select the game that you want. For this example we're going to be doing Minecraft and then we're going to create a new store with the name, I'm just going to call it Minecraft and then the server URL, that'll be a subdomain, so my first Minecraft server, you know you can call this whatever you want. Hit create store. After you've hit create store, it's going to create that store for you. To go into that, we can click manage. And that's going to load up our dashboard panel. The next thing we want to do is to add a server. So head over to add a server and make a name for your server. I'm going to call this survival. Hit add. Once it's been added, we can see a list of our servers underneath this image here. We can see we've got survival. We've got our API key and the command to register our server. You want to keep your API key pretty secret and don't give it to anyone. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hit the copy button on this command and then head over to our Minecraft server or whichever game you're running. In the case of a Minecraft server, we're currently running Paper on the latest version and in our plugins folder, we're going to want to install the Playerlands plugin. So to find that, head back to our portal, go to the dashboard page and in Minecraft plugin, select the version that you'll need. You see we also have support for Giza and Bedrock so if you're running a server which is cross-platform, our plugin will automatically pick up that prefix for you and get the items delivered to your players. For this example, I'm going to be doing it on Minecraft Java version 17, so I'm just going to install that and then get back to you. Okay, so now we've got our plugin all up and installed. We can see it here in our console. Playerlands has been successfully enabled. We're going to want to take our copy command from our portal. We're going to go into our console and we're going to paste it in here. Then we're going to get rid of that forward slash at the start if we're in our console and then hit enter. It's going to attempt to link the store to the server. It's going to say, please wait, and then it will successfully link the store to the server network. Then after restarting, everything will be nice and synced up. As a side note, if you're in the Minecraft game and you copy this, you can also run the command if you are an admin of the server or have the permission playerlands.admin for Minecraft. You can then run the command with the forward slash in the game and it will automatically register and link your store to your Minecraft server.